And Stamford Bridge is the venue on a very pleasant day for football here in West London. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry, and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Chelsea, and they face Bournemouth. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Here's the lineup for Chelsea. Edouard Mendy stands between the posts. Aspili Quetta starts alongside Kalidou Koulibaly in central defence. N'Golo Conte starts alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And the striker today is Raheem Sterling. Good game. Good game. That's a lot. Good game. Hey, good game. Thanks. Good game. Cheers. Good. And the starting 11 for Bournemouth. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. Thank you, Stamford Bridge. Enjoy the game. And the fans settling into their seats here at Stamford Bridge. We are underway. Effective challenge. Havertz. Now with Jorginho. Bournemouth doing well to regain possession. Well, every side needs someone to run the show in midfield, and Jorginho is well capable of that. What do you expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. Jorginho, Conte now, and scope for them to produce something exciting, gives it a go, well tremendous block, well just centimetres over the bar with that powerful shot. Vital interception. Christie. Well, the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Bodies forward and the break looks on. James and overcame the ball from the flank but dealt with in the end Anthony well, nicely cut out Mount Sterling has it 
And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Sterling. To jump in front. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. Well, when you see this again, the defending just isn't good enough. The clearance doesn't get enough height on it, doesn't get enough distance on it, and suddenly the ball's being played back into their danger area, and they don't reorganise themselves, and that's why the ball's in the back of their net. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Jefferson Lerma. And here now is Lewis Cook. And fed forwards. And the goalkeeper taking charge. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. Soranke. Disappointing pass. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Havertz. James. What can they do to stop him running at them? Mount. A very timely interception. Philip Billing. Dominic Solanke. Bournemouth struggling to keep possession. So two minutes to be added on at the end. Mount. Oh, big opportunity. Well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. And so the first half draws to a close here in West London. Well, and Golo Conte influential in that first half. What have you made of his performance so far? Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. And they kick off here. Well, tremendous block. Well, just centimetres over the bar with that powerful shot. To jump in front. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss.
So the beginning of the second half here at Stamford Bridge. Solanke. Well, Bournemouth couldn't keep it. Sterling. A wonderful intervention. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. And it might be Conte. And missing the chance to give them a bit of breathing space. Well, that should have made it more comfortable, shouldn't it? But it's a wasted opportunity. Philip Billing Jaden Anthony Cook and blocked for now denied again well no danger now good work from Chelsea to win back possession And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Mount. Here's Havertz. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Philip Billing. On to Jorginho. Sterling. Interception to snuff out the danger. Anthony. Lewis Cook. Well, they get the ball once more. Can they hit on the break? And Sterling has it. Opportunity here, and that's sound goalkeeping. Let's see about the delivery, and still dangerous. Well, the supporters think it's on, and the keeper got there. Delivering it. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. Well, that's a super ball over the top. Cook. An alert intervention. Well, just listen to the noise in here. These fans are doing everything to get their team over the finish line. And there's not long left now. And Sterling has it. Well, they've given him too much space, but quick thinking defensively. Sterling, and a poor ball. Up for them to produce something exciting. Well, 
totaling up all the stoppages. We'll have two additional minutes. Kovacic is ready. Marvellous anticipation. Oh, it's in! And that might be the goal that clinches it for them. No looking back now, surely. Well, here it is again. Sterling's cross really does invite somebody to attack it, but I don't think the keeper should be beaten in his near post quite so easily. I thought that was stoppable. Goal for Chelsea! So the final whistle now. It goes down as a victory for Chelsea to the delight of their fans around the world. Well, Derek, it was a comfortable win in the end. Fully deserved their victory because they dominated every aspect of the game. It was a really good result for them here today. But it just seems in this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, he should be pleased with himself today because he performed really well. He scored a good goal and they won the game. And